welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to add shadows in GIMP. To start off with, first I'm going to add a shadow to a square. I'm just going to click on my select tool and just draw a square there. And I'm now going to select my bucket and create a new layer in the bottom right hand corner. I'm now going to fill the area and there we go, I now have a red square. If I want to add a shadow to this square, all I need to do is go up to filters and I now need to go down to light and shadow and I now need to click on drop shadow. You will now end up with a window that looks like this and we can now play with a few of the options. As you can see, there is currently a very light shadow. If I change the X and Y, as you can see, it moves the shadow around. We can also unlock this and we can change each one by its own. There we go. And we can also change the blur as well. And we can also change the opacity like so. And there we go, that is how you add a shadow to a object. I'm now going to just cancel that and delete this layer. And I'm now going to add a bit of text by clicking on my text tool. And I'm now just going to type in computer. And let's just change the size of that to say 70. Now I have changed the size of the font. We can now go back up to filters and we can now go down to light and shadow and click on drop shadow again. And as you can see, there is currently a bit of a shadow there. You can hardly see it at the moment, but we can make it more visible by changing a few of the options. We can change the X and Y again, and we can also unlock this because they are currently joined together. That's totally up to you. We can then also change the blur radius by going up and down. And we can also change the opacity. And there we go. That is how simple it is to add shadows in GIMP. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.